It's been a while since I've done the wisdom from the universe, so let's grab these cards and just see what we have. We'll go ahead and do that today. Okay, the first thing out is dive deep. Next we have Illuminate and Enchantment. Dive deep, Illuminate and Enchantment. So let's get these and see what else we have with this. Gonna use these today. Give them a ruffle shuffle here. So under dive deep we have discrimination. <clears throat> And for transformation, with Illuminate, we have Detachment and Enchantment, Egotism, okay. All right, and let's see what we have above it, and we'll put all this together. Give these a ruffle shuffle real quick. Okay, for above it we have, oh, okay, discrimination, the diving deep, looking beyond what you are attached to in ego, okay? So usually, in this kind of read, the devil is ego, okay? The drama and the things that you get attached to in the transitory room, the room, <laughs> realm. <laughs> well, this room we're living in now, the realm of transitory. So you dive deep to get discrimination and see the things that you are attached to that are... Um, not aiding you, and also to get beyond ego into this, uh, into reality, okay, to realization. So illuminate and detaching from, the, again, the things you've gathered and collected in the transitory realm. So illuminating, you look at the things that you've been holding on to, and the enchantment, the egotism, is what keeps you mentally tied up, okay? Because you are enchanted with the things of the transient rather than diving deep into discrimination to find out what's beyond ego. So this is talking about the spiritual path for those that are on the path to realization or to Buddhahood, you could call it Buddhahood, you could call it realization. It's going beyond the transitory into that which is the divine is, or that which is eternally unchanging, which is the seed state that we have at the center of being. But what happens, it gets covered over with ego, okay? So once we find out what we've been holding on to, and the things that keep us enchanted into egotism and this mental constriction, <clears throat> then, <clears throat> then things get illuminated and we get that detachment from those things of the world. It's no longer, it's not that you don't enjoy the things of the world. Yes, you enjoy them. Doesn't mean that you've got to push it all away. It means you're not driven by it. It is not your... Um, it's not driving you, okay? It's not driving you. 
okay. So you go into a new understanding and you enter what's called the play of God. Okay, you enjoy it for what it is, but you are not driven any longer by the things that have chained you and bound you into this form of egotism, this enchantment, this illusion that this is the reality, okay? This is like the, you know, the one way they describe it is the screen that this is being played on, okay? But we get, when we leave the physicality of form, we go into the eternal, okay? And all of this stuff kind of falls away and you can see it for what it is. You can see all of the things that you were chained by when you were here. And you learn the lessons and you get more growth. But you can do the deep dive while you are here in the transitory into that discrimination and see the things that are chaining you. Whatever is transient is not the divine is. So it's a matter of contemplation, of looking deep within the thoughts. Are they transient emotions? Are they transient the body? Is it transient? You keep going like an onion and peel away the layers. Now this isn't just saying, oh yeah, that's transient. I'm not talking about just surface. This is something that you delve into very deeply in meditation and contemplation until you get to that which is unchanging. Like I said, in my own journey, you get to a point where all of a sudden everything implodes and all that's there is that divine is and the rest of the transitory drama that's been held on to and has been, you know, motivating your life and keeping you on this wheel of karma blows out, okay? So again, this is about what we are chained to and what we are um, ruled by ego that's holding us. We dive deep and have the discrimination and once you can get to total discrimination, it's a transformative journey, okay? You go into illumination. You look at the things that you've held to in the world, and then you become, you have this detachment. Vairagya, it's called. In, in Sanskrit, it's vairagya. You develop vairagya detachment. It doesn't mean you're pushing it away. It doesn't mean you're denying it. It means that it is no longer ruling you. And you go from being enchanted into ego and being uh, mentally tied up by this drama into freedom, into Buddhahood, into realization, whatever you want to call it. Um, the reality versus the illusion that we have been in for so many lifetimes until we do that um, journey and we break through into reality or what I term zero point balance. And that blows out all of the things that you've been enchanted with, okay? that's kept you on the wheel of karma and circling like a hamster wheel for so many lifetimes. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here and hopefully this has helped somebody along in their journey because we each make the journey ourselves. We can give you pointings, but we cannot do it for you. You have to do your own journey. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you online.